The Farallons are these islands of mystery just off the coast that show up on sunny days with this you know, very unique and thriving wildlife community that almost nobody knows about. My name is Pete Warzebach. I am the senior marine ecologist and the Farallon program leader with Point Blue Conservation Science. My name is Anna Weinstein. I'm the director of marine conservation for the National Audubon Society. I've been a conservation biologist for 25 years and I've loved birds my whole life. In the entire Pacific, there are just a few specks of land where seabirds can raise their chicks. And of all these specks of land in the Pacific, the Farallon Islands are the most important for seabirds in the lower 48. My name is Brad Kitt. I am the director of the Oceans and Islands Division at American Bird Conservancy. I feel very fortunate to have spent my entire professional career working on seabirds and the islands where they breed. It's important that we maximize the few habitats that remain for these species, the, the seabirds that breed on the Farallons, the salamanders, the endemic crickets. Something like 95% of all bird extinctions have been island species. And if you look at seabirds, they are among the most threatened of all bird groups with 70% declines in the last 50 years. Invasive mice have been on the Farallon Islands for probably more than 100 years. Their impacts have been ongoing for that entire time. The mice will prey directly on some of the native species like our crickets. They facilitate predation on other species such as the ashy storm petrels. They compete with native species for limited resources. And all these impacts that mice are having have a cascading effect on native wildlife. The Farallon population is half of the world's population for storm petrels. The fact that they are projected to decline by more than 60% over the next 20 years, we simply don't have time to wait. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has proposed permanently removing mice from the Farallon Islands. The project to restore the Farallon Islands to apply the rodenticide to solve the problem of the introduced house mice is the only pathway forward. This isn't like applying rodenticide in your yard where predators could be injured, and that's something we want to avoid. This is a specific purpose applying on an island. It's very controlled, it's very tested, it's vetted on over 500 islands around the world, and it has resulted in hundreds of species being allowed to flourish. This project has received widespread support from local, regional, national, and even international conservation organizations. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service evaluated a large suite of different alternatives, and they found that in reviewing the literature and case studies and successful eradications in the past, that the use of rodenticide is indeed the only proven effective method. A number of people have suggested that the project consider using a contraceptive bait. There's several problems with the contraceptive method. It would have to either be repeated applications several times a year, or you would have to put bait stations every couple of feet around the entire island that are constantly refreshed. Perhaps the bigger concern is the impact that doing that would have on the rest of the refuge and on the wildlife. I have spent a lot of time on the Farallons over the last 22 years, and I would never support a project that I thought was going to harm wildlife or harm our ecosystem. Failure to take action is not an option. If we fail to take action, we are allowing the native wildlife on the Farallons to continue to suffer 